Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday. We're going to stick with the Topps holiday theme. We did 2016 a couple weeks ago. We did 2017 last week. We'll do 2018 this week. We have five boxes of 2018 Topps holiday. There's some big rookies in this set, namely Shohei Otani, Ronald Acuna Jr., and Juan Soto. Although he doesn't have a base card, he has an autograph in the checklist. Otani and Acuna also have autographs in the checklist. There's a one guaranteed auto or relic per box. Most of the time it's going to be a relic, but we're going to see what we can find here. So thank you very much for joining us. I'd like to remind you, upcoming live streams looks like we'll be live tonight with an auction. Probably tomorrow night we'll do a Saturday showdown on a Friday just because Christmas Eve is Saturday and Sunday's Christmas. We'll be live on Christmas night, giving away a whole bunch of stuff. So hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you along for all of our videos. Now let's go ahead and get started. Tim M is going to start things off. As usual, the Topps Holiday Set is 200 cards. By the way, I forgot to say what I was tossing in the giveaway today. Let's toss in a 2020 Silver Pack. From a hobby box. Those usually go for 15 to 20 bucks a piece. And these boxes here usually go for about $80 a piece or more on eBay. There's all of the odds. If you want to pause that and read through it. Now let's see if we can find for Tim in box number one of this throwback Thursday. Good luck, Tim. Here we go. There's 10 packs. There will be a grand total of 100 cards. Walker Bueller, we're sleeving that one up. We've got Adubel, Adu, Adubel Herrera. I just call him Doobie for short, so I don't have to stumble over the name so much. And it is a metallic snowflake parallel right there. Next pack up, we've got Michael Brantley. He just signed a deal early, earlier this week to return back to the Astros. I think it was, what, $4 million? So he'll probably be splitting some time out there. Maybe platooning in left field. Maybe doing some DH duty as well as he gets a little older. We've got Luke Weaver upside down. I like the fact that they flipped that one upside down for us. It is a metallic snowflake right there as well. And John Carlos Stanton there. Next pack up, looking for the Shohei Otani. I don't think there's short or not. Yeah, there's no short prints in this that I know of. I think they started the whole short prints the following year in 2019. There's a Glaber. That is his rookie card, and that is his short print image right there. If you haven't seen that one before. Hey, there's the Aaron Judge. Why did they take the gold cup away? I, I, anytime I see this card, I always, always see a gold cup down there. I guess they figured just leave that on the top's base set, but nice card right there. That's an Aaron Judge second year card. Typically, I'm used to seeing that card with a gold cup on it. And here we go. There's the number one card in the set right there. It is showtime. Shohei Otani, rookie card, Topps Holiday. Very nice one right there for Tim. We're hopeful that we can find that one in a metallic snowflake like you see this one is. Kind of tough to see on camera, but there is a little uh, texture to that snowflake. And they sparkle just a bit. They are one in every two packs. Still no sign of the relic yet. There will be one relic or autograph per box. There's Mike Trout. And I'll tell you what, 2018 Tops. is there a better design within the last 10 years? Is there? Let me know what beats this design. I mean, whatever you say, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to come back at you and be like, well, what happens when you put the parallels in effect? Have you seen the parallels from 2018 Tops? like their Independence Day parallels? They are amazing. They are jaw-dropping. Some of the best cards around. So I love the 2018 Topps design. I would put this up against anything. And here's our hit. It's Josh Harrison. AJ Hay. Josh Harrison. Game used jersey with a piece of the pinstripe. This jersey likely his Tigers jersey. After leaving the Buccos, he went out to Detroit for a couple years. I think that's where that jersey's from. So unfortunately not a big-time hit right there. Former All-Star, though, Josh Harrison. Carlos Correa is upside down because it is a snowflake parallel, metallic snowflake. I like the fact that they flip all of them upside down. It makes it real easy to find. In 2022 tops, Holiday, they made it kind of difficult with the short prints. They just left them straight up and down with the others, at least the regular short prints. The rare and the super rares, they at least flipped for us. So, Tim, congratulations on your Showtime Shohei Otani rookie card. And we're not done yet for you, Tim. We've got an entire second box. We're doing a grand total 
uh, five of these 2018 boxes today. Kind of finish off this theme of holiday. Now, next week, it'll be after Christmas. I don't think I'm going to do 2019 for a throwback. We'll see. All right, Tim, since we already saw 100 of the 200 cards in the base, I think now we're going to go ahead and bust out the good old-fashioned super rip. So we'll rip through all 10 packs, and we'll go through the stack all at once and see what we can find. It'd be nice to find another Otani. Also looking for the Ronald Acuna Jr. Now, when you see it, don't go all too crazy. It's going to look like we have the bat down. Ronald Acuna Jr., but that card, when we see it, that's just the base card. They decided to use the short print image on the holiday base. So here we go, Tim. Let's see what we can find in your next stack, pack number two. I'm hoping for an autograph. The odds of an autograph, though, as you saw earlier on this, they are one in every 297 packs, which is one in every 29.7 boxes. So about a 1 in 30 chance of finding an auto. Since we're opening five boxes, would that be 1 in every six? Maybe a 16% chance? What is on this card? Oh, it's a little piece of a little packing peanut there or something. There's Tyler O'Neill's rookie card. we got Justin Upton, Joe Maurer right there, Trevor Story, King Felix Hernandez. It's amazing how many of these guys are already out of baseball. Baseball. The average baseball career is only about three years. You yeah, I think it's probably more like 10, 12 years because some of these guys play for 15, 20 years seemingly. But the average career, if you factor in all the guys that just have a cup of coffee, it's about three years. And a lot of these guys already are out of the game. Just after, what is this, four years ago this came out? Raphael Devers, rookie card. Very nice. There's Devers. He's got one year left in Boston. We'll see if the Red Sox lock him up long term or not. Red Sox not having the greatest offseason right now. A lot of disgruntled Red Sox fans up there in Massachusetts. Still looking for the hit in this one. Victor Robles again. There is no Juan Soto rookie card in this set, unfortunately. He does have an autograph. So that's uh, one of the reasons these boxes are so expensive. And these are right neck and neck with 2017 Topps Holiday. is the most expensive holiday boxes they are kind of jacked up in price because of the chance of finding an Otani, Acuna, or Soto autograph. And, and uh, you know also finding those rookie cards in there as well. Dansby Swanson just signed a nice deal with the Cubbies. There's a Med Rosario rookie card. He had a great season last year. Chance Cisco, hey, you know what? Are we going to get an autograph here? Do we have a thick stock card? I hate to ruin it for you, but I think we do have one. I just took a little sneak peek. Tyler Malley, rookie card, and here it comes. It's going to be Nelson Cruz. Nelly Cruz is going to be the next hit, and there he is right after it as well. Nelson Cruz, probably not going to be a Hall of Famer. Has a lot of home runs in his career, but I don't think I would vote for him as a Hall of Famer, unfortunately, for him. Definitely a good career, Nick Castellanos. And there it is, Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie card. This is the second best rookie card in this entire set in terms of overall value. And that is the iconic bat down image. So there's two images in 2018 update. One, he's following through with the swing. The bat's pointing up. And the one with the bat pointing down is the short print. If you find that card, if you have this card, this exact same image without all the snowflakes, you've got a really good card. I think it's about $300 raw. Ungraded. So an awesome card right there. Tim, congratulations. That card there is not worth $300. That's a base Acuna. So it would be worth substantially less, but still a great card nonetheless. So Tim, thank you very much. Ashley's coming up next at spots three and four. So let's see if we can find for AB here in the next spot, the halfway point of this video. By the way, have you noticed when you've gone out to Walmart, Pops Holiday is just flying off the shelves. Every time I go, I just uh, see a big empty spot where Topps Holiday used to be. Everything else is kind of left behind. No one's touching all the other stuff. Even some of the higher-end stuff that you think people will be gobbling up, gobbling up like crazy. Like, for example, Bowman Chrome Megas. I would think those would fly off the shelves. I, I'll get there on stock day, and there'll still be some Bowman Chrome Megas, but there will be no holiday left on the shelves. People love Topps Holiday. And uh, I see why, because for $25 to get 
all the good rookie cards from, from 2022, like Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt Jr., etc., Jeremy Pena, and so on. And you get a guaranteed hit. It's a great product. It's a nice product. I think this, you know, Tops uh, opening day is geared for kids. It's a cheaper product. You get, what, 20 packs for 20 bucks. This is kind of geared for both. This is like the best of both worlds box right here. This is great for kids, and it's also great for collectors as well that just want to grab a box and get a guaranteed hit. So love Tops Holiday. And now let's see if we can find – oh, guess what I see here, Ashley. I don't see the super thick stock card that you would use. See that See that thick white – there's two white stripes right there on the – Right there, that's a relic. I don't see a relic in here, Ashley. So I think that you may have an autograph on your hands coming up. Let's see if we can find an auto in this stack. Here we go. I really hope it's one of those big three. How about a Shohei Otani rookie auto or a Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie auto or a Juan Soto rookie auto? Cross your fingers. I hope I don't jinx it and we end up with like Miguel Andujar auto, but there's an Ozzy Albies rookie card. That is a nice one. Albies rookie card. Great rookie class. 2018, a very solid rookie class. You also saw Raphael Devers and Tyler O'Neill in here already. And look at this. Aaron Judge Metallic Snowflake Parallel. Love it. Great card right there. We'll get that one sleeved up for you, Ashley. And where is this? There's Tyler O'Neill once again. Where's this autograph? I'm calling an autograph in here. We had about a one in six chance. For those of you that like batting averages, that's a 16.6% chance. If you're one for six, you're, you're hitting 167. There's Michael Conforto. And let's see what else we have. There's Mike Trout once again. All righty, come on. Autograph should be coming up. Usually the hit's right around the lower middle portion of the box. And is this going to be it? M Manny Machado, that would be a nice one. However, I can feel the backside. It is textured, so it will be the Metallic Snowflake. Still a nice card. I think Machado's a future Hall of Famer. Please don't rip us off here and don't not give us an autograph. Oh, my gosh. Of all the people to get, Ashley, I am so, so sorry. It's numbered out of 200. Former all-star closer, Felipe Vasquez. If you do not know the story, he is in jail for a long, long time. He will never play baseball again. We will not discuss what he did because this uh, is a family channel. But um, that is not a good pull right there. This is a good pull, though. We'll take this one. Ronald Acuna Jr., Metallic Snowflake. So a redemption pull right there. This box redeems itself with the Ronald Acuna Jr.'s Metallic Snowflake Parallel for Ashley. All right, so we bounce back there. Man, finally find an autograph, and it has to be that guy of all the people. All right, Ashley, here we go with spot number four. This is your second box. We'll see what we can find for you right now. And then we have one more box to go. Maybe we will press our luck and get a second autograph. I hope so. I shouldn't have jinxed it. I should not have looked ahead and saw that there was an auto coming and then wished for it to be a Shohei Otani, Acuna, or Soto. I, I guess I messed that one up, but luckily we have the nice metallic Acuna right afterwards. All right, so Ashley, we'll see what we can find for you. Man, 2018 is such a great year for cards. And to think back then in 2018, all these cards from the 2018 releases were just sitting in clearance bins. If you thought the card market is slowed down right now, it was very, very slow in 2018. You'd go and get 2018 Tops Update at any Walmart in November, December, like into the spring in the clearance boxes for 40% off. All right, so here we go, Ashley. I will not say what you have coming up. We'll just see what we've got and let it ride there. There's a Robbie Cano Metallic Snowflake in there. Out at Pujols. So we've already seen, pretty, I think we've seen all the base cards. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. for the third time. We'll take that one. That is the regular base. I was going to say, we've already seen all the base cards, probably at least twice. So now we'll just keep an eye out for the parallels, which are only going to be metallic snowflakes for the most part. 
Um, there may be, I'll check the box again. There's Walker Bueller. There might be some numbered cards in here. Like, for example, in 2022 holiday, we've got the red snowflakes. It looks like we do have gold snowflakes. Well, that's almost, that's impossible. The gold snowflakes are 1 in 5,799. So I'm guessing that might be a one of one right there because that is absolutely insanely hard to pull. <laughs> One in every 579 boxes will you pull a gold snowflake. I'm going to guess that's the one of one. So probably not going to see one of those today, but we will see our next hit coming up here. It's not going to be Chris Davis, which is a metallic snowflake, and not the Aaron Judge. It's going to be, It is Chris Davis. <laughs> Chris Davis. It's a game-used bat of Chris Davis who is now out of baseball. For a while there, he was pretty much could pencil him in for, what, like 40 home runs, hit 240 every year or so. And he uh, he fell off pretty quick, Chris Davis, and the other Chris Davis as well, both now out of baseball. There's Shohei Otani's rookie card, our second Showtime. So Ashley and Tim both coming up with a Showtani. There's also, by the way, a Glaber that is a pretty nice. We'll sleeve it up. That's the short print image variation from Top Series 2, if you ever get a chance to find that one. By the way, the Ronald Acuna Jr., the bat down, is also in Series 2. I don't know if I misspoke earlier and said it was an update, but the bat down short print is in 2018 Top Series 2. He also has a short print in 2018 update where he's just kind of standing by the batting cage down in Miami awaiting his turn. All right, last box up here. It's for Damon Gregg. It's spot number five. Let's see what we can find here for Damon. I hope we have a doozy up our sleeve here. We'll see. The Basically, the only thing that could be a doozy of a hit would at this point be a second autograph and have it be a, a big name. But I, I'll, I would take a Shohei Otani Metallic Snowflake. I'm sure Damon would as well. So thank you very much for joining us tonight, everybody, as we rip through these last packs. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If the button is all in red, it means you haven't yet subscribed. And there's a little bell next to it as well. If you tap that and click all, that'll turn on post notifications. And then anytime I post a new video, you'll get notified via the YouTube app. Then you won't miss a single live stream or video. And we usually post at least once a day at the bare minimum. I can't even remember the last time I didn't post in a day. It's been years. So I'd love to, love to have you along, and let's see what we can find now for Damon. It's spot number five, our final box, last 100 cards of this video, 2018 Tops Holiday. We have a metallic coming up here. It's going to be George Springer, metallic snowflake, back when he was with the Astros. And those are one in every two packs. Trevor Bauer, by the way. Can we get this guy back in baseball? His YouTube channel is one of the best. If you have never seen Trevor Bauer's YouTube channel, him and his buddies, Eric Sim and all those guys, those guys are they, – they, he does great content over there. Lots of challenge, baseball challenges and stuff like that. So if you're looking for something different, even if you hate him, maybe give it a try. There's Raphael Devers right there, rookie card. There's Locaine. And what else? Andrew Benatendi. Let's see what else we have. So, so far, the there's a metallic snowflake of Eric Thames. And here comes the hit. It's going to be Andrew Benatendi as our next hit. It's a game-used jersey for Damon. So now let's just see if we can find you a Ronald Acuna Jr. or Shohei Otani. We've got a Walker Bueller as a consolation prize if we cannot find those two cards. Dansby Swanson, so we're running out of time here. Maybe about 10 cards left or so in this pack. And Fernando Rodney, Metallic Snowflake. Final card of the video is going to be Rugi, Rugnet Odor. So, Damon, thank you very much. Tim and Ashley, thank you as well. Folks watching out there, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a great rest of your Thursday, and I hope to see you in our live stream later tonight. And make sure you turn on those post notifications because sometimes I'll just decide to open a second box and have a second video for you. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.